Hey guys, happy Sunday to everybody. So I am back with Lola and I have pulled out her belly plate. <laughs> you guys haven't seen it um, because I did not show it to you guys yet. I haven't, yeah, I keep it wrapped up and I, I'm not a big belly plate person. I just, I just don't. I don't know. I just, for some reason, um, I, I don't do a whole lot with them. I never have. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like they're a lot of work to get it to look right, to fit right. This actually fits her quite well. I'm just trying to show you her little, the belly button. Um, this actually fits quite well because it's got holes in the top, shoulders on the sides, and then of course down here so that you can tie it in the back. I had to actually add ribbon to it so that I could attach it to her because it bows out. And I, I'm never a fan of how, because they look a little too wide here because of the shape of them. It's hard to probably get it just to fit so it would look proper. But I at least wanted to put it on her, show you guys before I put her back into some clothes. Um, I just, it's very, it's beautifully painted. It's very detailed. I love the mottling. Um, I think that uh, the artist did a really fantastic job with it. Um, and yeah, so I am, I'm just kind of playing around with it, trying to see if I mind fussing with it. <laughs> I'm one that fusses with things, y'all know that. Um, and it's really oh, it's so hot here today it, that we've actually had one thunderstorm roll through and now the sun's back out. It, the thunderstorm was very quick. I, I didn't realize it even occurred. That's how quick it was, <laughs> you know, but, um, figured this is a good day to just kind of, you know, putz around with Lola and pull out the belly plate and just kind of see how it looks on her. Um, she's so pretty. Um, yeah, I, I spent all of my whole morning grooming my dogs because it's that time, you know, to, to groom them. They get groomed quite regularly. Uh, they get very furry very quickly and because it's been so hot, I'll tell you what, they were in dire need of it. So I felt really bad that I, I had just now gotten to it, <laughs> but because it's so warm, great day to pull the belly plate out. And I'm wondering if I would want to leave the belly plate on to put like a sun suit on her, but that also the thing with belly plates and you guys feel free to tell me your thoughts. Are you a fan of having a belly plate? You know, if you get one with a doll, do you use it? I know some collectors absolutely love them, especially for picture taking and all of that. Um, I, part of what I don't like about it, even if it's well attached is that it makes them very stiff. Um, so, you know, she's less pliable when I pick her up. So it's very pretty for pictures. Um, mine is having to cover up like the shoulder area, like having her pose like this isn't so bad, but it's still like, I, I don't know, I guess you could fuss around with the angle, but it's also, this is wider than it should be. So there probably should be two more holes up here. So you could tie this tighter so you could actually put the torso shape the way it should be. I don't know. I, I just, I notice these things. I pick up on them. So it's like one of those things where if I can't get it right, then I won't post a picture with it, but I'm going to try to do that today and post a picture of her with her belly plate on, on Instagram so that, um, I'm at least using it. I want to be able to appreciate all the things that this baby has come home with because it's special. Like she doesn't, Okay, she doesn't have a formal COA, but her body is signed and numbered by Bonnie Brown. She does have a belly plate, which none of the kits come with a belly plate. I mean, I'm sure you can, you know, you can always get a uh, neutral, proper size belly plate and have it painted, of course. But it's just special that she came with a, a few extras that that just are special for her. And that's because she's a prototype. So I, I really enjoy that. So I want to try to, you know enjoy and check it out at least right <laughs> but isn't she so sweet you guys oh gosh i swear this baby is just she really is just the sweetest thing 
And I am such a fan of how these feet are painted because they're perfectly pink. Like, and same with her hands. They're perfectly pink the way a newborn's baby, a newborn baby's feet and hands would be. And here, let's see if I can bring it down here a little bit further so you can see a little bit better. But they're just, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous little baby feet and they're nice size baby feet. Like, look at the coloring. The painting that she has done on this baby is just magnificent. I am a huge fan. Oh, and see, happens every time, you guys. I kick the tripod every time, I swear. But look at her. Like, there's just so much to love about this baby. I really, I think that she's very special. And um, her little blemished face, like, it's perfectly blemished. <laughs> That's how my babies were when they were newborns, though. They had, you know, because I nursed them, I, I breastfed them. So they always had like baby acne very early on when they came home. And that's just, most babies get that. They, some just get it more than others. And I just, I love the, the detail of the blemishes are just, they remind me exactly how my babies were literally like a week or two in from being born. And it's from, it's from mama's, mama's hormones, our hormones that we pass along to them that, that makes that happen. But it's just ultra realistic. I just think this baby is spectacular. And my videoing and pictures will never do this baby enough justice to where I feel like it shows properly just how beautiful she is in person. You know, so... I try, I try, I try, guys. <laughs> I do, and I will continue to try. But there's her belly plate. I just think it's so cool. I like this belly plate. I'm not a fan of all belly plates. This is, this one actually fits her quite well. And if I position her just right to take pictures, you know, smoke and mirrors. It's all about the smoke and mirrors and the angles <laughs> when we take pictures. Some of us are better at it than others. I struggle with it. At least I accept the fact and I admit that I struggle with it, but I try and strive to do better each time I take photos of my babies. And I'm finding that, you know, being in the proper light always makes a huge difference. But this, this baby's just gorgeous. She's, she's beautiful. I'm very lucky to have her and I'm just going to play around a little bit more with her today and, and try to, you know, enjoy all that all that this baby is and it's nice just to have those days where you can do that yesterday i enjoyed some time with monroe which was much well deserved well overdue i think for me anyways and then today having some time in this afternoon to really enjoy this baby i just i'm really happy for that <laughs> i wasn't sure if i'd have time um but i got all my chores done for the most part you know <laughs> But I'm one of those that I prioritize. I have to get the house stuff done before I will allow myself baby time. And so now I've just, I've earned my baby time, if you will. But yeah, so cute. Guys, let me know what you think of her belly plate. I also really want to hear your thoughts on, like I said previously, do you enjoy belly plates? Are you a collector that when you get one, do you just kind of wrap it up and set it aside? Like hers has been wrapped and I put it, I put, I wrap it in cling wrap, um, then tissue paper and then in a Ziploc baggie and I store it just so I know it's protected because, you know, it's a painted surface. Um, but honestly, I, I don't do a whole lot with them and I'm, and I'm just not sure if I'll continue to do more with this, I don't know. We'll see. It depends on probably the outfit I put on her. If she w is wearing an outfit that would require, you know, to have the belly plate kind of cover up her cloth body, I might do that. And I might, I might play around with that after I get done videoing and then taking some pictures of her. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence about the belly plates. I mean, typically if someone says, Hey, do you want a belly plate? And it'll cost you more. I'll say, no, thank you. <laughs> but, um, but now having this one, I think it, it does add some realism, like positioning with like, you know, having her hands in just such a place where you can't see, you know, it's hard because there's, you know, the, the lines of where it falls, but like, 
I don't know. I feel like I can camouflage it enough to take some decent pictures. We'll see. I will be posting them on Instagram if that's the case. If you don't see any posted, it's because I didn't find any pictures I took that I really loved. <laughs> Struggle. Um, I won't lie. If I don't like a picture I've taken, most of them, even after I've posted them, I'm like, oh, that really wasn't a great picture. I wish I did a better job. <laughs> But um, yeah, I will do my best and try to post some, but please share your thoughts. I love hearing your thoughts and opinions. And once again, thank you for all the amazing, wonderful comments on yesterday's video. I really appreciate that. And I'm sure Monroe also appreciates it. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you all are having a fabulous weekend. I know it's sad it's almost over, but enjoy the rest of your day and Lola and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.